Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing a haul of stuff that I have recently got listed. So some of this stuff will be from the last auction video that you saw. I still have a ton of beauty stuff that I haven't listed yet, uh, but I am slowly trying to work on that. So some of this stuff will be from the auction, some is just some random stuff, some from other auctions, that type of thing. So we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, the first thing that I have, this came from a different auction, but I recently won this thing. This is really cool. It looks kind of unassuming just to see it like this. This is like a wooden partition and the rest is brass. But I'm gonna pop up a picture of what it looks like open because it's really neat. It's actually an hors d'oeuvre uh, tray that comes out in three different um, pieces basically that you can serve hors d'oeuvres on. It's just really cool. Won that at an auction, pay $15 for it, and I ended up putting it up as a buy it now for $49.99. I saw one other listed on Etsy, and they had theirs listed at like a hundred some dollars. I don't really know if it's worth that much, uh, but I just went with the $49.99. I just got a cha-ching. Also came from an auction. This is a Fenton vase. Um, they call this Cabbage Rose. It has these like kind of like 3D-esque um, Cabbage Rose flowers coming off of it. Scalloped top and it does have uh, the Fenton sticker on the bottom. I won this for a bid of $11 and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Another um, auction winning, this is an ML Lynch World Champion Turkey Call. Um, I have sold a turkey caller before in the past. Uh, we won this one for a bid of $6. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. And it already has quite a few watchers. This little piece of jewelry. This came on a tray of jewelry I won at an auction. It's just a really like lightweight plastic celluloid flower pin and it's got a little rhinestone in the center so it's definitely older you can kind of tell by the backing there's no maker's marks or anything like that but i thought it was cute um i listed this on auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents also won this at an auction. This is a really pretty two-handled cake plate. I do well with these sometimes. They're not all created equal by any means. Um, this one is marked Prov S-X-E, S-A-X-E-E-S, -E -E Germany on the back of it. So just a really pretty plate. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Next two items I'm going to pop up because they're a large item. Uh, the first thing was for a lot of Turbolite light covers. One day at the auction they were selling, someone must have had like a concession stand or something like that um, that they used at fairs and carnivals because there was a lot of like concession stand type of items. And these are light covers that would go over bulbs. Um, you know, around like your concession stand and stuff like that. Eric won these for just $1 and we listed them as a buy it now for $39.99. And then that night he also won two packs of um, the bulbs, light bulbs. Again, he paid a dollar for those and those are listed as a buy it now for $34.99. We'll have quite a few beauty items to show you within this haul and... <laughs> as I do other hauls. Uh, the first thing I have is a philosophy. These are called Supernatural Lips and they are just a nude lip liner. I have two available. These are new without the box. Um, I listed these as a buy it now for $12.99 a piece. Same goes for these here. These are also philosophy. They call these the Big Mouth Lip Primer. So it's basically a primer for your lips before you put on your lipstick. I have two of those available and these are listed as a buy it now for $19.99 a piece. I have some hair care stuff. This is by Nick Chave. It's called the Velvet Mesquite Restoring Body Booster. This is still sealed. Um, I actually have two of these available um, and this is listed for $29.99. Next item I'm going to pop up because it's a large item. This was for a Wilton Skull, a 3D Skull 
cake mold. Um, we won that at the auction for six dollars and I have that listed as a buy it now for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I have a lot of two of these Philosophy Amazing Grace Perfumed Firming Body Emulsions. These are four fluid ounces each. I have these listed as the lot of two for a buy it now of $25.99. I have a lot of Philosophy stuff. I have a ton of Philosophy shower gels in like every scent imaginable. I have another Nick Chave hair care item. This is called the Horse Tail Root Lifting Spray. So again, still sealed. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I couldn't find anything to go by, so I didn't know if it was rare or not. All right, I have so many of these. These are the Philosophy Micro Delivery Mini Peel Pads. There are 60 pads in here. These are all still sealed. Um, I have seven of these available and I have them listed as a buy it now for $59.99 a piece. These are very expensive. I have two of these available. This is a Philosophy uh, the Supernatural Mineral Blush Duo in the shade Pink Bronze. So they're just in like a mirrored compact and they look like that. So new without box, two available. And I have these listed as a buy it now for $29.99 a piece. Back to this Philosophy um, shower gel. These Philosophies, they call them three-in-ones because you can use them as shampoo, you can use them as bubble bath, or you can use them as shower gel. I don't recommend using them as shampoo because I think they, they're really, they really dry out your hair um, when you use them as a shampoo, but um, I like using them as bubble baths and body wash. But this is still sealed. This is the scent. It's bubbly, which I think is like a champagne-y kind of smell. Like it has like an effervescent type of smell to it, if I remember correctly. Um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Uh, next item is for a large lot of children's books. These are the Magic Treehouse books. Um, it's not the complete set, uh, but I think there's like 30, I want to say 30 some books in this lot. Um, I have those listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I have this really pretty vintage plastic um, beaded necklace. I have sold other necklaces that looked kind of like this before, but they had like fruit on them. These are like blue flowers with leaves. It's really quite pretty. Uh, this came on a tray of some jewelry I won at an auction, and I have this listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I have this set of two Philosophy Hope Is Not Enough Facial Firming Serum. These are in glass bottles. I have these listed as a set of two for a buy it now of $29.99. I also have another set of two Philosophy. These are the Amazing Grace um, Perfumed Bath and Shower Gel. So again, you can use them as shampoo, a bubble bath or shower gel. These are sealed. Um, these here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99 for the pair. I also have this lot of two philosophy. These are the Purity One Step Facial Cleansers. I actually have quite a few of these in different sizes. I have larger sizes as well, which is not in this haul, but I did list these as the set of two for a buy it now of $12.99. So these are good for like taking off your makeup. Got a, another NYX Chave. This is called the Poof Hair Raising Foam. So again, brand new. This I have listed for $19.99. I got quite a few NYX Chave items. This is called a dry volumizing flocker. It locks in curls and texturizes. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $18.99. And then I think this is the last Nick Chave for this haul. This is called a volumizing mist for fine, thin, or thinning hair that's still sealed. Have this listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have an It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush. 
I actually already sold like three of these that I didn't have in boxes. They were new without box. This one actually has a box. Um, but it's really interesting because you can use it as a lip balm, lipstick, lip gloss, and lip stain. Like it's four things in one. Um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I, this came out of my own personal collection. I just never used it. I got it at a yard sale. It's called a Revel Diamond Silicone Blending Sponge. It's shaped like a diamond. The packaging isn't in the best condition, but it's never been used. Um, I just <laughs> never reached for it, so I was like, it's time for me to get rid of it. Um, I put this up as a buy it now for $9.99. I couldn't find any. Quite like it here came out of a random tray I won at an auction. This is a little Snoopy and Charlie Brown. What this is is um, it's a picture frame. It would have had a glass frame in here. Unfortunately, the frame wasn't in there. So I don't know if, you know, whoever had it before like broke it or whatnot. But this is by a company called Westland Giftware. And I actually sold something by this brand not that long ago and it sold really, really well. So I decided to list this anyway. Um, I'm sure you could find like a glass frame to put in there. I also thought it would be kind of cute to hold like business cards or something like that. So I feel like you could just like lay those in there as well. So I decided to list it. I don't know if it'll sell or not, um, but I listed it for $12.99. Also came from my personal collection. This was in one of my Lush kitchen subscription boxes. This is the Golden Pear Body Scrub. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. But I think I've said before, I don't really use um, Lush's Naked Body Scrubs. So I listed this for a buy it now of $19.99. I also listed, this is a Lush Yog Nog perfume. Um, I already have this in a full-sized version. I already sold one um, for like two months. I got two Lush um, subscription boxes because I forgot that I signed up under two different accounts. So I had to cancel one of my accounts, but for two months I was getting two boxes. So I had two of these. I already sold one. Um, and I have this listed as a buy it now for $49.99. And that's what my last one sold for. Um, again, this was a personal collection item. This is an Ulta Beauty Z palette. So basically it comes with little magnets. So if you depot any of your eyeshadows and stuff like that, you can kind of cut down on clutter and stuff like that and just put all your pots of makeup in like one palette. Um, so the, the idea behind these is really awesome, but I have a couple of these and I didn't need this one. It's just a pink one. I think it might've been used before because when I looked up on the Z palette website, there's not as many magnets in that it would have had originally. So um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $12.99. I have this here, this is by Hall Pottery. This is actually an ashtray, but there is a partition here in the center where you can stick a book of matches. So I thought that was interesting. It is stamped on the bottom. I won this at an auction for $4 and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have a vintage My Little Pony. So this, <laughs> this pony is cool. Like when you um, move her head back and forth, her tail like goes into her body. And then when you brush out her tail, it grows so it's really interesting I got this at a yard sale for a dollar and I have her listed as a buy it now for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents I only have a couple more beauty stuff this for this haul anyway this is a philosophy empowerment hot salt scrub this is brand new still sealed have this listed for thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents this here is a Conair 3 8 inch curling iron, brand new. I have this listed for $19.99. This is from 2000. Another Philosophy Hot Salt Scrub. This is in the scent Amazing Grace. I have this one listed as a buy it now for $59.99. It's a harder one to come by. I have this necklace. This is brand new. Um... 
It says 18 karat gold over sterling silver with a 1.0 CTW genuine diamond. I don't know anything about jewelry. <laughs> it's a really pretty necklace though. Um, so I don't know if it's really like worth much or anything like that. I figured if anyone knows, they'll know. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So I don't know if that's too low or too high, but we'll find out. Um, same with this Belova watch. I got this at a yard sale. This is a men's Belova watch. Really nice. It's been worn before. It needs a battery. Um, so, you know, it's a little dirty, uh, but still like a really nice watch. I know these are super expensive watches. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. And then I have another piece of jewelry. This is a really awesome, like, statement necklace with all of these pearl looking beads this is by a brand called scassy and i have sold jewelry by this brand before and it has sold um pretty high this one the chain on it is you know could use some cleaning i don't know the chain is just kind of like dingy it needs it needs cleaned up um i listed this on auction with a starting price of $89.99. Um, the other one that sold that looked exactly like this sold for like a hundred some dollars. So uh, we'll see. Um, next item I'm gonna pop up. This is a Betty Boop leather jacket. Eric won this at an auction for $52.50. And we have it listed as a buy it now for $199.99. It has quite a few watchers. And I'm also going to post up this because this thing is huge. This is for a portable kerosene heater. Eric won this at an auction for $35. And we have that listed as a buy it now for $249. I got this vintage Valentine's Day card. It says, tell me what's in store for me, dear Valentine. It looks like she just came back from the store with her grocery bags. Um, it is signed on the back. I have this listed as a buy it now for $9.99. I just sold a vintage Valentine's Day card like the other day. So people are starting to look for Valentine's Day stuff. <laughs> I also sold this next item. Uh, this was for a Celine Dion perfume. This came from a lot of perfumes that I won at an auction. I listed that as a buy it now for $49.99 and it sold. Funny story. So you would think that Celine Dion perfume might not be worth like a whole lot of money. And it used to not be. Um, no joke, quite a few years ago, I had a couple bottles that I could not sell on eBay. Like no one was interested. They weren't worth anything, right? So I sold them at one of my yard sales, probably for like a dollar or less. Come to find out now, Celine Dion perfume is worth money. So it just, you know, times change throughout the year. So what isn't selling right now doesn't mean it's not going to be worth something um, down the road. So that one was a surprise to me. I have a Philosophy Cinnamon Buns Shimmer Body Lotion. This is still sealed. I have two of these available and I listed this uh, for $19.99. Um, this is just one of the many Philosophy shower gels I have available. This one is in eggnog, and I have that one listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I have an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation in the shade Medium. This is brand new, still sealed. This I have listed as a buy it now for $17.99. Okay, these next items are so stinking cute. So I have to see what goes with what. Um, I want a tray at the auction of doll clothes. And these are by a company called My Twin. Which I think is kind of like American Girl in a sense that you can buy a doll that kind of like looks like you. Uh, so the first one is this little denim dress and it comes with a pair of matching striped leggings. 
And then it also comes with a pair of these red sandals. The other one is sitting around here somewhere. I kind of have a jumbled mess in front of me to share with you guys. So it was that set. Um, and I have each outfit listed as a buy it now for $39.99. These outfits were pretty much new. Some were still in the bag. Um, the next outfit was a little fall outfit. So it came with this orange um, cardigan. It had a matching scarf and little um, beanie. And then it also had the little skirt with the leaves and that was still sealed. So $39.99 for that. Oh, and I almost forgot. Those also came with these little boots as well. So $39.99 for that. And then the last set were these plaid Christmas pajamas. There's a top and a bottom to those. Um, it also had this little terry cloth Christmas robe a um, little red headband and a pair of matching um, slippers with candy canes. So $39.99, buy it now for that as well. Oh, and I paid $15 for the tray of clothes. Won this Cabbage Patch Kids doll at the auction. This is the 25th um, Cabbage Patch Kids Premiere Edition Anniversary doll. It just looks like that. It's brand new, still sealed. I won this for $10 and I have it listed as a buy it now for $59.99. I also won three of these Cabbage Patch Kids. These are just like little mini dolls, but they're in these like Christmas ornaments. Um, these were $2.60 a piece and I have each one listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So this one is... Um, her little tag says believe and there's like a little gift tag on here. Her name's Lara Greta. Then I have this one that says dream and her name is Athena Bonnie. And then I also have this one. This one says wish and her name is Haley Reagan. So I got those. A really cool find. This is for a vintage Tamagotchi. Oh my gosh, I had one of these back in the day. Um, I remember they were like the hot toy of Christmas one year. Um, it's from 1997. And this one's called the Tamagotchi Angel. So it looks like that. It's new, like the tab hasn't been taken out or anything. It's not sealed anymore, but it definitely was never used. So I won this at the auction for um, I paid $25 for the tray that this was on, um, and then it came with some other stuff. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $99.99. And the last thing that I have for this haul is a Jim Shore Mickey Mouse holiday ornament set. All the Jim Shore stuff was selling for a lot of money. This is the only thing I was able to nab but it is a really nice set. It comes with all of these um, Disney Jim Shore ornaments in the box. I did pay $50 for this set and I have it listed as a buy it now for $124.99. So that is everything for this haul. I still have so much more stuff to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoy these hauls. I hope that like, they are informative in ways of, you know, sharing with you the things that I pick up to resell and like the prices that I'm asking for things and that type of thing. So it's always interesting to see like what people buy. I love watching those types of um, videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.